Good morning and welcome to St John's Parish Church in New Jersey for our Christmas Day celebration. Happy Christmas! My name is Beverly Sprouts and I'm the Rector. We usually gather in church on Christmas Day to celebrate the birth of Jesus. But this year, due to coronavirus restrictions, we can't gather together in person, so we've moved our celebration service online. The service is being streamed at half past ten so that you can join in and watch it either at half past ten in the morning or any time on Christmas Day or afterwards. And it's an opportunity to spend um, some time together, gathering together online to celebrate the birth of Christ in readings, carols and prayers. Welcome to everyone joining us online on Facebook and YouTube and to those watching later, wherever you are, and please say hello in the comments and let us know where you're watching from and thanks for tuning in. And an especially warm welcome to you if this is your first time joining us. All the words for the service are on the screen and please feel free to join in with as much or as little as you like and you're invited to join in with the words in yellow bold type on the screen. And let us pray. God our Father, whose word has come among us in the Holy Child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Christ has brought us out of darkness to live in his marvellous light. We have come together in the presence of God our Father to rejoice in the gift of Jesus to us as the light of the world, to hear and receive the story and message of the coming of Christ, and to offer to God our thanksgiving in prayer and song. Now we're broadcasting this at half past ten, but uh, some of you might have been up a little bit earlier than that. Um, so do let us know in the comments uh, what time you woke up this morning. Anybody awake at 9 o'clock, 8, 7, 6 o'clock? Some years we even have um, some children so excited they wake up at half past 5 in the morning. So uh, let us know in the comments what time you woke up and started opening your stockings this morning. Now we're going to have a few notices. Once again, my name's Beverly, and thank you for joining us for our online Christmas Day celebration from St John's Parish Church in Jersey. Welcome to everyone, all those at home or wherever you are joining us on Christmas Day morning or watching later on. Thank you to Paul Mathems for playing the organ for all our Christmas services. Although all the church services are now online, the Lady Chapel will be open for private prayer today on Christmas Day and also on Wednesdays from 9am till 3pm. Well, usually in our service, we ask if any children have had a visit from Father Christmas, if they'd like to come up to the front and tell us about uh, one of the presents that they've got. So we have to do it a bit differently this year. And if you had a visit from Father Christmas last night, then why not? Have, take a photo of yourself from one of your presents and post it in the comments and let us know one of the presents that you got uh, for Christmas Day. There's no morning worship this Sunday the 27th of December, uh, but I encourage you to join with um, a Church of England service. They're broadcasting a worship at home service for the first Sunday of Christmas with Church Army at 9am on the 27th of December and you'll find that online if you search for Church of England. The next Sunday service for St John's Parish Church will be our Epiphany celebration online at half past nine on the 3rd of January and uh, we're going to do some Epiphany packs of chalk and prayers so that you can collect them beforehand um, if you live nearby, if you live further afield, then you might have your own chalk at home and we'll make the prayer available uh, on Facebook and on YouTube. 
And then you'll be able to join in with the chalking of the door, um, a custom that we celebrate on uh, when it's Epiphany. Plan Sunday service will be at half past nine on Sunday the 10th of January and more details to follow about whether that will be an in-person or online service. We hope that you're enjoying our online services over the Christmas period and to give to the Ministry of Mission of St John's Parish Church, please go to our online giving page at tinyearl.com forward slash St John's Church JV. So we already have four of our Advent candles lit for the four Sundays of Advent, reminding us of the mothers and fathers of the faith, of the prophets, John the Baptist and Mary. And today we're going to light the fifth candle that reminds us of Jesus and, and Eva's going to come and light the fifth candle. Thank you, Eva. Today, a Saviour has been born for us. He is Christ the Lord, and we pray together. God our Father, today we greet the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ with joy. Help us to live in his light and to share the good news of your love to the whole world. We ask this through Christ our Saviour, the Word made flesh, who lived among us. Amen. And now throughout Advent we've been listening to the song Advent Candles Tell Their Story and each verse has told us something about who we're remembering and so today we get to hear the whole song Advent Candles Tell Their Story.
we come to a time of saying sorry to God. As we kneel with the shepherds before the newborn Christ child, we open our hearts in penitence and faith, and we take a moment to be still before God. And together we pray. Father oh God, we are sorry for the things we do and say and think which make you sad, and for not thinking of others before ourselves. Please forgive us and help us to love you and other people more and more. Amen. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we're going to sing our next carol, Unto Us a Boy is Born. accepts Jesus as his son. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet he did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfil what the Lord had said through the prophet. 
The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. Father God, may my spoken words lead us through your written word to the living word, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, do you like eating lots of food at Christmas time? I love all the treats and goodies that are around, mince pies, satsumas, Christmas cake, and I wonder what you enjoy eating at Christmas. Well, Christmas Day today, the last day of the Advent calendar. If you've got an Advent calendar, what did you get? Did you get a really big chocolate or sweetie in your Advent calendar? Well, I've got a favourite chocolate in the whole world, and I wonder if you can guess what it is and what your favourite chocolate is. Well, I shall tell you, it's right, so my favourite chocolate in the whole world is chocolate orange. So maybe give a click on a thumbs up or a, a like if you like chocolate orange as well or post in the comments what your favourite chocolate is. Now um, with a chocolate orange I think we could almost say you know it's an orange. I, I think it's possibly one about five a day. I think we can count it like that definitely. One about five a day. Practically good for you now, even if you know it's not really. But I like chocolate oranges for another reason, because they can help us to think about Christmas. Chocolate oranges help us to think about Christmas. So let's get this one out. At Christmas, that we remember that Jesus came to the world to be a king for everyone. And uh, kings and queens wear rather shiny crowns, and the wrapper is really shiny shiny orange foil, a bit like a gold crown would be. And whenever I uh, think about kings and queens wearing sparkly things, it's a bit like the wrap around a chocolate orange. When Jesus was born, some angels came to tell the shepherds on the hillside near Bethlehem that a special baby had been born. And the angels said that something amazing had happened, not just for some of the people, but for the whole world. And if you look at a chocolate orange, it's round just like the world. It looks like a small globe because of its shape. So the chocolate orange helps us to remember that Jesus came for everyone in the world and not just for a few people. Well, the best bit about a chocolate orange is how you eat it. I wonder how you eat yours, how you get all the little segments to, uh, to come apart. Well, one technique is to hit it really hard or drop it from a great height. So I'm going to go with the dropping it from a great height technique and see what happens. One, two, I'm going to have to try that again. It's still feeling quite solid. Oh, I think that's, that's it. I can feel like it's uh, coming apart now. So this is the exciting bit of the chocolate orange, getting to open it up. And now, the chocolate orange is in lots of pieces. And uh, if we took the wrapper off, we'd be able to eat it. And this helps us to remember what the angels said as well. When the shepherds heard the news, they went straight to the stable where the baby Jesus had been born. And after they'd seen the baby Jesus, they went and told everyone they met about him. And they shared the good news with all the people they met. And you know, when we hear good news, it's very difficult to keep it to ourselves. We want to tell other people about it. And at Christmas, we need to remember to share the good news of a king who was born for everyone in the world. 
and we need to tell people how special the baby Jesus is and how important he is for the whole world. So just like you could unwrap and share a chocolate orange with your friends and family, this Christmas, unwrap the Christmas story to share the story of our King, the baby Jesus. As we're sharing our chocolate oranges with others, we can be sharing the good news of Jesus this Christmas. So I'm going to enjoy sharing that with some friends and family afterwards. Now we're going to sing our next carol, Joy to the World. We welcome you, Lord, into our hearts today as we are filled with your love and light. We thank you for the amazing gift of forgiveness that your birth has revealed to us. We thank you for showing us how to live our lives, how to love our neighbours, how to care for those around us, and how to help and to accept people for who they are and to continue to improve how we behave at home and in public. We pray for the church throughout the world, and especially for those who live in conditions which do not allow them to have special celebrations on your birthday. Protect those in peril with your comforting arms as a parent comforts their child. We pray for all those who work for our church, the virgins, the musicians, the singers, the cleaners, and the leaders. In our own church, we pray for Archbishop Justin, Bishop Trevor, Dean Mike, and Rector Beverly, as they help us to celebrate this special day. As this year has been so different for us all, we pray that the future will be better, that we have had the time to look and understand our surroundings, so that would we look after the world with more thoughtfulness and care, that we continue to support the lonely and those suffering from illnesses. 
we pray for those who have lost loved ones and those who today are missing those with whom they usually share Christmas Day. We thank you for this day when we can share and exchange gifts for your birth. Help us to let the Holy Spirit in so that we live our lives in your glory and make and are able to share the joy of your birth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now we come to our final carol, O Come All Ye Faithful.
final blessing. Christ, the Son of God, born of Mary, fill you with his grace to trust his promises and obey his will. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and upon all whom you love, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Word was made flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory. Go in peace. Proclaim the Word made flesh. Glory, thanks and praise to God. Thank you for joining us for our Christmas Day celebration, and Merry Christmas to you, and have a fantastic day. God bless.